Do not adjust your TV. This program was made especially for you. My channel. I am really excited for today's video. I am in total full glam for this uh, Sparkle Eyes Barbie homage video I'm doing. And I thought, what better time to honor Barbie than um, in the recent timing of the Barbie movie trailer coming out starring Margot Robbie and many other people. Um, as a Barbie lover, as somebody who feels like their soul is connected to the existence of Barbie and what it means for me to be a person on this earth. I mean, oh my god, I've been so influenced by Barbie, for better or for worse, in beautiful ways and in an amalgam of ways I've been influenced by Barbie. And, um, you know, there's it's such a kind of complex thing, and I think for a lot of people, they have very complex relationships with Barbie. And, um... You know, I really would like to celebrate her and I would really like to honor her. And this tutorial is a little, um, you know, take at that. And I really hope you guys enjoy this uh, Sparkle Eyes Barbie tutorial. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> okay. Bye guys. Hey guys, all right, so let's jump into the makeup. So I've already gone in with my Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation and Concealer and applied that all over my face. I just wanted that step out of the way. When I have the big hair and the costume, it just becomes really cumbersome and difficult, so I wanted to get that step out of the way. Then I'm just setting my entire face with a foundation powder, and that's just going to give me some more coverage and an even more kind of even base to apply my makeup and set all the liquid makeup, make sure that everything's good to go for the other layers that I put on. And if you're interested in knowing any of the products I use, just please let me know. You can use whatever products you have, and a lot of things are really versatile. I'm going in with blu um, not blush, bronzer. And I'm just going in sculpting the face, cheekbones, the nose, then I go up into the forehead and this serves as like warming up the skin, adding definition, giving you some more of a defined bone structure. And when you put on foundation it can tend to flatten you out if you don't add a little bit of depth back in. So next I'm going in with blush and we're going to be super liberal because this is Sparkle Eyes Barbie after all and we're going to do it in an 80s fashion where we do strong on the apples of the cheeks and we bring it all the way up to the temples. This Barbie is from 1991 but it's kind of in that transition era. Uh, late um, 80s and early 90s Barbie are very similar aesthetically so it's okay to do it in an 80s style. This Barbie feels very 80s to me anyways. Then I'm going in with a super sparkly white highlighter and it's from a Paris Hilton palette. Then I'm going in with a really pale blue shade and it's not the exact shade that I want but I'm going in with this to kind of sculpt out the overall shape that I want and um, Sparkle Eyes Barbie has eyeshadow that goes all the way up to her eyebrow almost. So I want to make sure, I have super hooded eyes, so I need to make sure that I get the shape exactly how I want it. And I want to put down a light base color that I can kind of play with and make sure that I can manipulate it in a way that I'm looking for. And if you do your eyeshadow um, after you do the rest of your face, you're going to get fallout. So you definitely want to have a good fluffy brush handy. Uh, I'm just deepening up those colors making it even more turquoise, kind of a sea blue, and um, just perfecting that shape again. And because I have hooded eyes, I have to really watch the shape of my eyeshadow. It tends to do this sort of like cat eye thing, 
uh, where it like kind of flares out at the ends and I really don't want that so I keep perfecting it as we go on but then I started to go in and put I noticed that uh, the real sparkle eyes Barbie doll has a pinky kind of purple shade put into the inner um, crease of the eye so I did that with my look to kind of give it some definition and to be accurate and then I'm going in with a pink pinks purples will work with the blue to kind of give it that airbrush kind of look and um, I'm just doing that and deepening up those colors making everything more opaque and more vibrant then I'm just adding a little bit of powder underneath the eye uh, that I had gotten some of the fallout because there's a little bit of a blue cast. Then I'm going in with a white shadow, inner corner, and at the very outer corner of the eye and the eyebrow. And then I'm still packing that on. I want to make sure I'm getting everything super bright. Then I'm just going in with blush and amplifying that to match the eyeshadow make it even more Barbie. Then I'm going in with a white highlighter shade and I'm just putting that all over the eye to give it that sort of frosted, airbrushed kind of look. Then I'm just putting that um, on down the bridge of the nose, on the cupid's bow, and on the forehead, just kind of giving that plasticky kind of sheen. Then I went in with a little bit of a pink highlight on the cheeks, dusting off some of that excess powder. Then I'm going in with some more pressed powder to just kind of take away a little bit of the shine. Then I'm putting, um, I was cleaning up under the cheeks, then taking some more of that highlight, putting it on the eyes, touching it up a little bit. Then I'm going in with the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo, I think, shade pencil in the uh, shade Milk, I think it's called. And then I'm just going in with mascara and giving myself a super liberal coat and making sure that they're super fluffy and gorgeous and trying not to get any marks on my face. Then I'm going in with a CoverGirl lip liner. This is in the shade Palest Pink, and it's new, and um, at least new to me. I just got it, and I really, really like it. Then I'm going in with Great Pink Planet by Lime Crime, and that's going to give me the perfect Barbie pound. And then I go in with a little bit of a light pink lip gloss, and then I'm actually dusting some... Uh, white eyeshadow onto the lips and then I did a frosted kind of highlighter on the lips and that's the finished look thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video